everyone, welcome to our very first unboxing video on the channel. What are we unboxing today, guys? I don't know, John. What are we unboxing today? It's a Mega SG. It is it's a like Mega Christmas. SG. Been looking forward to this. Wow. So it's not that big. I'm just saying now. It's... Okay. Okay. So um, this is our first unboxing video. So we're just gonna unbox it and unbox see how it goes, really, and we'll do our best to show you. Uh, everything that we come across and uh, we'll do some footage and stuff of it in action as a separate video once we've opened it and also some close-ups yes. um, so yeah let's okay. get right into it so are you ready yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, are we that, gonna like do like one bit of sellotape each alternately we can so oh, that's mine exciting. there you go it's gonna be posh and use scissors oh okay I'm gonna try not to make too many sounds on the table for the microphone so apologies uh, if you do get any sort of like bassy rumbles from here to from here and there. Mm -hmm. It's quite a small box for a console. Uh, it is. I'm prepared to be amazed at you know, I never even small. thought about how small the actual system itself is. Ooh, that looks good. Was there a little note from Analog in the box no, there as well? No, that was my delivery note. Oh, that's right. I'm not telling me I'm not how many I'd ordered. Poor, you don't you don't know how much you spent on that. No, no, it doesn't tell me. That tells me on the box how much I spent on it. <laughs> this, um, I ordered one, and we've yes. got one. So there we go. They haven't given us any extra ones, unfortunately. Okay. Right so, then. Um, oh god, bubble wrap. It's I'm nicely gonna, I'm, shrink wrap. I'm gonna wanna, I'm gonna wanna pop it, and you I can, think that would you make. You can take the bubble wrap home with you. Yeah, I was about to say. I think Ash right. would go insane if I started popping it on camera. <laughs> I would literally kill you. Oh, I like this. It is like. Oh, it's like when you get a new phone. Yes. Mega it's SG. European. So, what do we get in it? Contents. Analog Mega SG. Analog Master System Game Cartridge Adapter. Oh, it comes with that. Yes, it comes. It comes. I thought you had to have a an actual original Master System adapter and put it on the top. The power base convert. No, they've released a special thing in there. You'll see how small it is. And then they're also releasing, as the year goes on, uh, there's like the SG1000, the SC3000, the Game Car, a Game Gear adapter. The only thing they haven't announced is a uh, Sega 32X. Yeah. I don't know if you can plug a Sega 32X. You don't, even want, to play, you don't even want to play Star Wars and. And some what's Knuckles, the um, is it? Knuckles, uh, Knuckles Chaotix. Chaotix. Yep. What? But some of the Sega CD, 32 CD games were meant to be quite oh, good. Oh yeah, there was them, wasn't there? Yeah. Um, Not many of them. An HDMI cable. It's yep. quite nice. It comes with its own HDMI cable. A lot of stuff doesn't yep. nowadays. Uh, that Nintendo stuff. Uh, USB cable. And a worldwide USB power supply. Okay. Oh, and uh, it's, it's, it's shrink the, wrap, so uh, I'm not going to be able to do this without making it. It's the a mess, European I? version, so there's four different versions of the analog uh, Mega SG. You've got uh, the American version, the European version, the Japanese version. All it is is like slight different colours, and then there's an all white one. So thought, they're, they're the colour schemes of the original yeah, Japanese, yeah, American, yeah. European. But I thought because you're, you obviously haven't played the European Mega yeah, Mega Drive, that's the way one. you've got to go, really, isn't it? Unless you're going to collect the whole lot, I can't afford that. Wow, that's very good. Just it's making a mess. It's fine. Nice little analog logo indented on the case, which is quite nice. Oh, is it? Oh, look at that! Wow, very tasty. And it's very small. Nice little bit on there. We will do some close-ups and stuff as well. Very good. Do you want to get a shot of that, Ash? Yeah. Very nice. Ooh. Don't don't okay. drop it, John. Oh, on that there. We'll come to that in a second. Usual inlet trays. Mouse map. Spacer. Spacer for Sega CD. So you oh, can, because oh, you can put it on the actual Mega yes. CD, can't you? Either yes. the ones or the twos. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, Just a random little, piece of paper. Uh, manual. Meh. Can live with that. So, okay. Got Usual array of cables, which is easy enough. Oh, I've got some silica gel to eat later. <laughs> Very tasty. It's always good. Crikey, that's in there a little bit tight. Well, that's the power adapter. That's alright. We, do we, we don't need that. That's a no. universal power and adapter. And here's the uh, master system. Oh, I like adapter. that. 
see through as well. Well, as a for your the master system yeah. converter. Well, as the original power base converter. Oh, I like that. The the gold bits and everything. There you go. I'll give that to you, Ash. And I will be as they ordering for you as they come out the uh, other adapters. Oof. Possibly, depending on how much FedEx charged me to import them. Of course. I was just thinking, hold on, where's the controller? Then I realised we've got the controller already. Yes, it doesn't come with a controller. You do have to buy one separately. However, 8-bit dough, as we uh, covered before, it is the best the one. Best one. Is or, it is the best one. Or, as you'll see, you can play original yeah. controllers. So, with original Mega Drive or Master System controllers. Oh, hello. That's all stuck on in. Yeah. Right, get, that. get rid of that. Well... It looks like a modern Mega Drive cartridge slot. It looks like Power what the Mega reset. Drive would have looked like if it had been released today by Sega. What does it say on the side? NTSC and Pell. So, that is a question that I've got about the system. I believe it's region free. So, it is region free and it'll run different believe. cartridges. Yep. But, so if I put a Pell cartridge in, because obviously that's what we've got. Is it the cartridge that runs at PAL or is it the console? I'm a little confused no, as no. to whether... So the okay, so PAL NTSC is to do with your television settings. Yes. So back in the day, it was like, that's why every console that was released in the UK, uh, not consoles, but um, DVD players released in the UK, mm -hmm. could be very easily uh, modded to play American Region 1 DVDs because right. we're Region 2, Japan's Region 2, however... We're PAL, Japan is NTSC. So yep. the, the console itself will, is, uh, is uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Is, uh, Region agnostic? Yeah, no, the, I, I was almost going to go specified, but that's not a word at all. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, the console itself is designed as both PAL and NTSC. So okay. we'll play PAL games and NTSC games, yes. So if I put, work on PAL and NTSC. So if I put my PAL Sonic the Hedgehog in, it will be like playing a PAL game. It's not going to run at 60 hertz. Shouldn't do, no. It's but most modern TVs can work. Will, most modern TVs will automatically choose between 50 and 60 hertz anyway. Okay. Um, I think it's a fantastic looking little system. It's it quite is. weighty. There's a lot of weight um, to it. There's a few, like, so on the side here, I believe. This just slides out. Oh, is that the uh, and that's the connection, connection port for the Sega for the, CD. For the CD. Along the back, you have your HDMI output and your power output. Nice now, and I wonder if this can be powered like the uh, Mini SNES and the Mini NES, just straight from the TV. USB it probably port. depends on what your power output is from the USB on your TV. Some will be better than others, I expect. You if have not, a, we've just got a adapter. You have a SD card slot. Um, SD card slot. SD card slot, it's as in the bit, big uh, one. It's, it's a, a bit, bit early two uh, thousands, isn't it? It is. Uh, the o you do need to update firmware. The only way to update the firmware on here is via downloading onto an SD slot. Uh, there is a FAQ on the analog website to help you do all that. I was reading up on this. That it's been quite. It's quite comprehensive in terms of its aftercare and like mm. the service for using it and stuff. So yes. my next question then, now that I've seen the SD card slot, can you put? emulated games on there for it to run that way or is that something completely separate it, it's not for seen, that is it it's no for original it's for that however no i have seen someone use the everdrive I which is a that's the same which thing, is like a, a slot you put in and then you put an sd card in that or and then you oh, play emulated games off that one one of the reviews i saw on youtube that's how he played his games but in the everdrive it? But the whole point of this is you don't want to play emulated software. You want to play of the original software. you want to software. play the real thing. Because it isn't, a, um, it isn't emulation. They designed a new, ever since the NT Mini came out, uh, they designed... Oh, uh, one of them now as well, haven't we? However, the NT Mini <laughs> is, uh, because of complications in building it, mm -hmm. it takes a lot more oversight. That's why the NT Mini is $450. And that's why they aren't being sold anymore. And that's why if you want to sell one on eBay, you're going to be... Yeah, penny, pretty penny. The Super wow. NT Mini, same price, two hundred, hundred and eighty nine, ninety nine. Um, but it's it it's basically digital hardware, mm -hmm. which I don't know how that's any different from emulation. But it's got a chip that on the fly will become whatever you need it to be, and that's why they say it plays some like ninety nine point nine percent of games with mm -hmm. no problem. Well, we're about to find out, I think. So yes. I think it's time that we plug it in and have a look and see what it can do. <laughs> Fingers crossed this time. 
that I haven't brought you the world's most oh, expensive oh, so paperweight. First I know. <laughs> Yay! Oh, look at that! Hooray! Well, it's we very know clear. technology. <laughs> it's very clear. So we're going to do a separate video um, I mean, with, actual, a, with, a di with a direct yeah. feed, um, but for now this is just uh, just to show you how it works. Yes. Really, um, it works quite well so far. Car, the control is there is no lag on that at all. On every emulated Streets of Rage I've played, you've got that slight lag, and I think you have that on just about every Mega Drive emulated. Can I just? Yo, please do. Oh, I didn't mean to hit options. Ah, you've hit your options now. We were going to do the cheat and everything. It's all right, isn't it? I think there's more lag on the original controller than there is on that. <laughs> right, let's just jump in. Let's just do a level. Who do you want? I want Axel. Go on then. I want you think, then. All right, be Axel. Got to find a start button, haven't you? Oh yeah, you I don't press be, A, you press I start. Be, I should be Blaze. God, it's proper crisp. And look at that. Whoo! Oh wow, it is. Oh, pixel. I'm Axel, not Blaze. That's why I'm not moving. That's that would be it. Oh, I love this controller. Come on. Oh, A is my special. That don't use my special. Well, that's up to you. We're only doing one level. Doesn't matter if you use them too much. Get off! Get off! Oh, what the hell? I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I forgot you could beat each other up in this. <laughs> oh, I am loving this. I mean, obviously, you've played, um, you know, HD remasters and things on things like the PS4 collection, yeah. the 360 collection. Sorry, I'm just leaving you to it while I'm over here talking. Um, but this is just super responsive. Just to confirm, Analog have not paid us to say this either. No, they it have is, not. It is actually that good. I mean, I wish they had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why couldn't we have had a free one, don't we? I'm just doing special slowly pace now. Oh, this is brilliant. I'm going to try and just listen to the audio how do you, a little bit. How do you hold them? Uh, you just walk up to them. And then you can jump over them if you want to. Or just attack. Are we on easy difficulty or just normal? I don't know. You're the one who set it up. I think we just went straight in on normal, didn't we? I'll sort out this dude. Yeah, man. I'll just take the two up here. I love his, his jumping attack. You have to excuse me not talking look, much. Look, I'm, just, look. I'm just looking at the detail on the ground. I love how he, when so he jumps up, he just puts his arms behind his head. Like That's he's having a very good time. That's what he does. Okay, so oh, well, Get yeah. an apple. Oh, look at that. I can actually land standing up because there's no lag on my controllers. I don't think either of us really need that. I suppose I need it more, but not a lot. Oh yeah, you walk. use health when you lose health when you use your. We use your specials, yeah. You can use your. Um, oh, there you jumping. go. That's great. Uh, I don't think you. Yeah, this move here, your like right, right A. That one doesn't use up any health, but just pressing A does. Right, right A. Uh, right, right A. No, that's not. Ah, no, that's not. I'm. Um... Oh, you mean? Oh no, that is that is a special. Yeah, <laughs> that's alright. Maybe we should just get to the end of the level then. Wouldn't that be nice? I always found that um, throwing knives in any Streets of Rage, apart from the original, was always difficult for doing two buttons at once. Works first time. Watch out for him. I got him. Thank you. Got don't don't fall down the manhole. Can you fall down the mountain? Yes, I believe you can. No. No, you no, can't. I thought you could. Because I've never known that before. I'm dead. What? Sorry, you got extra lives. You've got extra lives. But yeah, it is It is very responsive. So you need to play like a fast-paced game, really, I think, to appreciate the... Uh, uh, oh, yes, we'll certainly give that a go. Thanks. Everyone's just gonna have to just bear with us now, just while we play a few games. <laughs> what game do you want to try next? Uh, so I, I'd like to give Sonic a go. Yeah. And then uh, I would like to try the Master System Converter, see if Ooh. that works. Let's do a little bit of Sonic in a moment then, and then we'll try some Master System stuff. In fact, do you just want to do it now? Yeah, let's do it now. Let's do it. So to end the game, uh, press start and so, uh, no, so press start and down. Start and down at the same, at the same time. time. Ah, okay. And that will bring that up. And then I believe. Do, you, do we just take the cartridge out? 
That just feels wrong. It does. Go to go to settings and see if there's a way to maybe cancel. Like, is there a system? Like, like stop game. Yeah. Save clear settings. No, 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 no. Cancel. No. Got... I feel like I want to turn it off first. It's still running the game in the background. It is. Um, oh, system. What do we do? System. It's, it's not start up options. No, it's not. Tell here, you what. Let's, let's 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 power up, power it off, and we'll we'll do it the uh, old fashioned way. Um, I think that is an amazing system, and I can't wait to play more. Well, fantastic. I'm glad you got one. It, it just means you, uh, you can play, have it set up permanently in the cafe. And we will. Um, so anyone who wants to come and try it out, it's now here. Excellent. Um, if you'd like to see, to see us play more of this, um, we're going to do a separate Let's Play video, which will be up on our YouTube shortly. And I believe it's going to be Castle of Illusion, is it not? We're going to do Castle of Illusion. We might do World of Illusion, perhaps, as that's two-player. I'm, I'm that. quite happy to just sit and watch you play a one-player game. Works me. I'm quite happy just to be... sit here all night and yeah. play anyway, so that's quite all right. So, head over to our channel if you want to see more news and Let's Plays and things going on here at the cafe. Please give us a subscribe, click on the notification bell as well. And all like. that kind of stuff really supports us, so thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next video.